Hey, what is up everybody? Slummy here, and in this week's Elder Scrolls Online video, I have composed an achievement guide on how to complete all the achievements for the Jester's Festival and some tips. Most of these achievements are just going out into the world and doing X amount of things, but there are some achievements that do require somewhat strategy, and I put together a little guide on how to complete all of them in an easy fashion. Wasn't even going to fucking do this video, but... I noticed there was a lot of people in the zone chat asking questions on how to get certain achievements done and there was even some people who've been trying for an achievement for the last two years and still haven't gotten it done. So for those people in the zone chat, good news is I'm going to tell you how to do it all. So before we get started, please make sure you hit the like and subscribe button because it does help me out a lot. Post something in the comments below. Do you have all the achievements? Are there, are there achievements you don't even give a shit about? Um, so with that being said, let's jump right into it. So back to the basics on how to access your achievement guide and know what the hell you're doing out there. All you got to do is in your uh, character screen here, you just go to journal, you go to achievements, you select holiday events, select Jester's Festival, and if you scroll up and down, you will see all the achievements that you need to get. Um, basically the rewards are, uh, you know, titles. And you know you get a hat there you know there's basically awards for doing the achievement so it's not for nothing uh, it's, don't freak out because there are quite a few achievements but a lot of those achievements are requiring you to complete other achievements and then you will get the title or the momento for that so um, jumping right into it let's jump on one of the first achievements all right the first achievement we are gonna knock off our list here is the princess rescuer achievement Basically, this coincides with the daily quest in Stone Falls for the Jester's Festival. So what it's going to require you to do is steal an apple, go down, feed it to a pig, and then you got to lead the pig back to the Jester without the butcher spotting you. The best way to do that is when you feed the pig the apple, activate your mount. Hopefully, you have decent speed and stamina on your mount and just go full sprint to the path on the left. Full sprint back to the Jester. Do not wait for the pig. I think a lot of people fail this quest because of the fact that they're waiting for the pig to stay close behind, but you don't have to do that. If you go full speed and take the path to the left, the NPC will only spawn in one or two spots in front of you. And the good news is if you're on your mount, you can blow by the NPC and they won't even acknowledge you. Uh, so again, just head straight for the jester, path to the left. If the NPC does spawn, just to be on the safe side, you could swerve your mount to go behind the NPC. And again, they will not spot you, but do not wait for the pig to stay close behind because you don't have to. So this achievement's actually fairly easy. And once you get to the gesture, you will complete the achievement. Next on the list, we are gonna tackle the upper crust achievement, which requires you to throw a pie at the three alliance leaders, Queen Aaron, Juron, and King Emric. Juron, assuming that you've completed all the main quest lines for the story, Juron's going to be located at the Rift at the Traletta Summit Way Shrine. It's the Way Shrine to the south of the Rift. Once you go to that Way Shrine, he's going to be standing right in front of it. You can throw a pie in his face. Queen Aaron's located in Alderaan at the Skywatch Manor. You could just enter into the Skywatch Manor, head on out to the throne, and she'll be standing right there. Team Emmerich, he's located in Vekora at the Garrison Hall of Heroes. Uh, you could take the Way Shrine up to the Hall of Heroes, and you'll see him standing right in front of the gate. Smack a pie in his face, and there is the Upper Crust achievement. All right, man, we are cranking through this shit like no tomorrow. So the next achievement, oh, more than you can chew. Throw 10 pies at guards. This is pretty easy. You get pies for rewards, for completing dailies on the Jester's quest. Jester's festival daily quest. You go to, just go to any capital. Um, I think I did mine in Dishan, uh, Mournhold. Uh, and just find guards, start whipping pies at them. You do 10 guards, you get the achievement more than you can chew. The next achievements on the list is the Festival Noisemaker and Jester's Festival Joke Popper achievements. I lumped this into one section because you get them the same way. Basically, you will get the Noisemaker parts and the Joker Popper parts as rewards 
for completing dailies in the Jester's Festival. You can also buy them on the Guild Traders, but just as a warning, they are very, very pricey. So I suggest if you're running multiple characters to just do the dailies, you'll eventually get enough of these. But basically when you get them, you just consume them from your inventory. Do five of them each and that will complete both those achievements. Next up on the achievement list, we got the Dazzling Entertainer, which requires you to ignite illusion dazzlers at the undaunted on enclave oh I couldn't even pronounce that so basically you get the dazzlers by completing daily quests for the jester's festival um and then you got to launch one in each undaunted zone the first one's located in grathwood and elden root dishan in mornhold and stormhaven in wayrest just go there launch off a bedazzler in each zone and the achievement is done and we still roll in. Next up, the three fillings war. We gotta throw 10 pies at players at different alliances. My tip for this is for one, go to the Jester's Festival tents because there's people standing all around those. I recommend going to the areas where you are not an alliance to. Also, when you see a player, look at their name tag because it'll be colored red, blue, or yellow. Obviously, if your color is red, Blue and yellow would be people of a different alliance. Start whipping pies at them. Do not, if players are moving, don't even attempt it because you'll waste the pie and you might not even get credit for it. So that one's pretty easy as well. Smile in the name of the queen is the next achievement. Basically, festoon 20 players with cherry blossoms during the Jester's Festival. Cherry blossoms, again, rewards for completing Jester's Festival dailies. Getting very repetitive, I know. Go to the Jester's Festival tents because that's where everybody seems to be just standing around. And start spraying players with your cherry blossoms. And the achievement is completed. Alright, next on the list is Jester's Personal Chef. It is to acquire and learn all Jester's Festival provision recipes. Again, you get the recipes as rewards for completing the Jester's Festival daily. You can also purchase these on the Guild Store, but I say save your money because the event still has another week to go. Um, and that's pretty much all for that achievement. Last, but certainly not least, well actually it is least because this is the last achievement on our list, called messy business we kill 10 players while they are covered in a pie in Cyrodiil I am not gonna lie I have no desire to get this achievement because I do not play PvP at all because I'm to be honest I'm too lazy to restructure my character at this point but yeah just go to Cyrodiil get into a big battle is what I recommend start chucking pies and start trying to kill people while you're chucking the pies uh, that's the best advice I have for that achievement and then you are done with all the achievements for the Jester's Festival. Enjoy your rewards, enjoy your new name tags, but seriously thank you all so much for tuning in. I tried to make this video as fast as possible. Again make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Also don't forget to check out my website www.slummiesgaming.com because I will have a Jester's Festival page up there with all the achievements broken out for you because I'm fucking awesome like that. Everybody have a good day, good week, good month. I am out.